Okay, so it's only taken Google about two months since this issue was occurring to actually release a tweet and give everybody a little clarification of what this issue is with videos inside your blog content and some clarification about the error codes you might have seen inside Google Search Console. So what is this all about and how can you fix this? So the issue I reported on around two months ago now even before the helpful content update, which is quite interesting because Google say there was no video issues with indexing before the helpful content update rolled out, but there were. It started to roll out before that. And you know, it's not unlike Google, is it, to tell us one thing and actually do another. So the issue I reported a couple of months back was errors in my Google Search Console saying that there was an issue with blog posts that had videos embedded in it. Now the main issue I was seeing inside Google Search Console was a notification saying video outside the viewpoint. And there were many people on Twitter and in social media and in the SERPs suggesting what that is. And actually there's quite a simple fix for it. So I'll give you that in just a moment. But the issue was that some of those pages for me personally started to either de-index or certainly dropped in the rankings. So this morning I woke up, jumped on Twitter and found a notification that was posted yesterday, December the 4th, from Google Search Central, giving us some more clarification of what this whole issue is with videos. So basically, let me try and explain it as if you was a three-year-old. That seems to be a common thing right now. Everybody wants everything explaining like you was a three year old. So I'll try and do that. Basically, if you have ever written a piece of blog content and you've added a video inside that blog content, but maybe you've added it, let's say halfway down the page because you wanted to give some more clarification on the topic. Maybe you wanted to enhance the user experience of your blog post or maybe you just wanted the blog post to look a bit prettier because it's got a video in. Whatever your reason for adding that video, Google is now saying that that video is not going to be indexed because it's not really the main part of the content. People haven't searched for a video in the topic you're talking about. So in that case, why should they index that video? People are not searching for a video on that topic. So what they said is if the video is the main part of the content, and you can see on screen, now this is their kind of screenshot, their demonstration. If the video is the main purpose somebody came to that blog post to watch that video, to find that information, then they will index that because that is the main part of the content. But if you've been adding videos and embedding them into your blog post as a secondary, as a supplementary part of the content, then they will not index that video. Now the information inside Google Search Console was a little bit confusing because at first everybody just thought outside the viewpoint, this is a video issue, i.e. the video is too big for the page, it overlaps outside the content. There's some technical or SEO reason why that error is there. And what it looks like is that it was just Google literally implementing these changes. There's now going to be a tab inside Google Search Console that's going to say this video is not the main content. And again, simply put, if you land on that blog post and the video is not the first thing you see, Google is going to deem that as it's not the main part of that content. And again, will not index the video. So there are a few questions. Number one, will this de-index your entire article if you now embed a video in there? And number two, how can you fix it if you do want that video to be indexed in your page? So to answer question number one, will it de-index your page entirely? Google says no, it will just de-index the video. But I have seen different examples on my own website. I have seen pages that's had this error totally de-indexed, and then I've removed the video from that page, resubmitted it for indexing, and it's popped back into the SERPs, and it's appeared again in the SERPs. So that is contrary to what Google says. And the second instance I've seen on that is where the article has dropped in the rankings with that error code showing. And again, I've removed the video, re-indexed it, and that article started to come up the rankings a little bit and improve. Now you can see on screen now a sentence from a Google Search Console, which is a little bit worrying, talking about decreasing of indexing content if this error is there or you have this problem. So 
Yeah, mixed opinions on that at the moment. I think only people with a large data set who can do some testing can answer that further. I have definitely seen pages de-indexed that had videos embedded on it. I've also seen pages not de-indexed, but decrease in rankings when that error was showing. So I'm kind of still sat on the fence and doing a little bit of testing on this. And Google's only just announced this, that they are doing more changes to this right now. So I think we'll see more information come out about this very soon. And I think we will also see some changes in Search Console. So that's worth looking out for. Now, if you do want your videos to be indexed and you do want them to be the primary source of content and get rid of that video outside the viewpoint, there are some basic SEO practices you can do. And in fact, SEO Lady I saw on Twitter had left a link to one of her blog posts and I'll leave a link in the description. It has some step-by-step -step instructions on there how you can get rid of this issue once and for all. Primarily, again, let's talk to you like you were a three-year-old. Just move the video straight to the top. If you want that video to be prominent, it is a good part of your content or it is something you really want your viewers to see. Just make sure it's above the fold. Just make sure that video is high up there. So when somebody searches, they find your blog post, they open that blog post up on their mobile phone, the video is primary right there at the top. That way Google will class it as the main part of the content and it will not de-index that video. But for me, generally, I tend to just embed these videos further down the post just to enhance the user experience. Let's say you've done a product review, you've done all the information on it, and then you found somebody who's physically bought the product and they've got it in their hands and you want to show them reviewing that in real life. And that video could help them make an informed decision whether to purchase something or how to fix something or how to solve a problem. So for me, that is a quite an important part of my content. But if I'm going to put it further down in the page, I'm probably going to have to ignore the Google Search Console warning. And fingers crossed, Google does not de-index the entire page and it just de-indexes that video. Now, one of the reasons they may be doing it is because obviously their crawl budget, they don't want to index every part of your page, including a video. Maybe that crawl budget is now reduced with all the content that's out there in the SERPs. Maybe they just want to keep you on YouTube longer. If you're wanting to find an answer for something in a video format, maybe they want to send you to YouTube. Who knows? There's probably somebody very clever or maybe not so clever at Google who's actually got a reason for doing this. But it's another thing we have to deal with, but it seems like it's a, a simple fix, not so much of a big issue unless you are writing your own blog content and making your own videos. That's something I'm going to look into because a lot of my blog posts have my own videos in them. So maybe now I'm going to have to move that video right to the top of the page so it's in the viewpoint and I will not get that error. And Google will index the blog post and the video. So I hope that's clarified a few things for you. I will leave a link to the Google tweet in the description and a link to SEO Ladies article where you can get some quick fixes for solving this issue. So I hope that's helped you out and I'll see you in the next video.